recorded in a top secret studio that surprisingly more and more people keep finding. This is BNN. Mayors and gentle cults, welcome to another edition of BNN. Now, I'm sorry for the delay. I know this is a day late. I usually put the episodes out on Saturday night, but I've been busy this weekend with my very special sun pony, and it's just been a lot of fun, and I've been super busy. So, with that out of the way and that said, let's get on with it. In fact, now that I think about it, this is episode 20. That's almost a full season of a show right there. We've made 20 episodes. Dang, that is awesome. And with an average of seven minutes per episode, that's a whopping... I apologize for the short circuit. You see, my degree is in journalism, and I usually use words instead of numbers. So when I tried to calculate that intense mathematical formula that is seven times 20, uh, I apologize once more for the short circuiting. You see, anyway, 20 episodes. Woohoo! Shoot! That's more episodes than the series Firefly had. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh oh, come on, come on, it was a joke. Come on. I know you want a season two, but it's not gonna happen. Get over it. Our first news story tonight is about me. You see, I'm. I'm afraid that I may have lied to y'all. I know, I, I know. I told you I was going to be in BronyCon this summer to offer exclusive coverage. Well, unfortunately, that's kind of out of the question for me financially at the moment. You see, I'm in Arkansas, and BronyCon is in Maryland. Yes, I know, it's a real state, look it up. Uh, that's just a wee bit outside my financial range at the moment, uh, and probably will be for the entire summer. So, instead, I'm going to be teaming up with the Everfree Network to offer exclusive coverage of Fiesta Equestria at the end of this month in Texas. The place where everything is bigger, even my ego. In other news, I move on to a serious topic. Now, I, I know that this show is done largely for fun, and I have lots of gags, skits, jokes, etc. But I do have to cover something serious tonight. Here we go. Many of you bronies did your best to help a dying girl named Kiki. Uh, she lived in California, and she suffered from an untreatable form of cancer. Now, the good news is, they only gave her a few months to live, and she lasted way longer than that. Two and a half years. Um, and that's partially thanks to you bronies who donated money uh, for her treatments and whatnot. In fact, Tara Strong herself actually worked hard to raise funds for Kiki's family so they could afford to pay medical bills, uh, among other bills. But uh, anyway, last Friday, the war for her life came to a close. Uh, and that's, that's a fancy way of saying that she's no longer with us. Kiki passed on last Friday night. Uh, and according to the Give Forward site set up for Kiki uh, and Ami, which is her father, Tara Strong was actually there that night uh, via cell phone for Kiki's final moments. Uh, she actually sang a song from The Little Mermaid that Kiki loved. Uh, and again, according to that website, uh, as her heart rate slowed down dramatically, uh, eventually it just stopped altogether. It was unforeseen. They, they don't know exactly why it happened yet, if there were um, complications of any kind. But according to the doctors, there was no pain uh, for the process. So if you do the prayer thing, uh, I would like to ask that you pray for the family of Kiki. And if you do wishful thoughts, I'd ask that you send those to the family. Lord knows they need it. Uh, and to Ami and the rest of Kiki's family, uh, if you're watching, just know that all the bronies are with you. Uh, you're not alone. I'm really sorry she had to go, and I'm sorry that I didn't do more than donate a little bit to her fund. Uh, I, like many other bronies, wish that there was simply a little more that I could have done. But uh, Godspeed in your grieving process, and I wish you the best from the Brony News Network. We'll be right back after this message from The Hub. Hey, you coming to The Hub summer pool party? I mean, it's like the greatest party ever. There's ice cream scoops as big as basketballs. Sweet! And there's enough snacks for everyone, even Nibble. 
and the lifeguards are real superheroes. And the band is just getting ready. Check, check, check. 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 And it's not just big. <laughs> this summer's gonna be colossal. It's gonna be ginormous. <laughs> There's gonna be thrills. <laughs> There's gonna be chills. <laughs> Cause when the day gets hotter, it's time to get in the water. Yeah. It's this summer. We'll never get this summer back. So let's make it ours. Nice. No, this isn't nice. It's awesome, epic, legendary. The Hub Summer Pool Party, and it's going all summer long. Now who's with me? Mares and gentle colts, My Little Pony has been taking awards left and right. And of course by taking, I mean dominating the competition. And the most recent award that they've won was the Leo Award for Best Soundtrack. The episode in question? Everyone's favorite, where Twilight becomes an alicorn. Magical Mystery Cure. The award went to Daniel Ingram and Stefan Andrews. Congrats, you two. You've earned it. And we certainly look forward to more great music in Season 4. Well, Everypony, we have two new things to announce as My Little Pony exclusives from the San Diego Comic-Con. Former exclusives include things like the Derby Hooves action figure. First, they've announced a new and exclusive figurine of DJ Pony, and then there's a special comic cover. Look familiar? It's a parody of the famous Beatles album cover, Abbey Road, which was the last recorded album before the band split up in 1970. What? You don't know anything about the Beatles? Eh, that's okay. They're a little overrated anyway, and... Oh, yes, this is Paul McCartney. Oh, oh, hi, Paul. Wait, Paul McCartney watches my show? Oh, yes, I'm actually a big fan of the show, and I, I just had a message to give to you. Okay, sure, go ahead. What's the message? Oh, uh, right. I in response to your comment about uh, the Beatles being a little overrated, um, buck you. <laughs> okay, bye bye Paul. No, wait, I'm not, I'm not done yet. I will find you. And in our final news story today, Sweet Al Apple Acres Con from Nashville, Tennessee is in need of some funds. How much money do they need? Oh, just a small 21 grand. I'm sure we'll have that lying around somewhere, right? Or, uh, maybe this is justice for not inviting News Brony to your convention as a guest. In fact, uh, let this be a lesson to you future convention personnel. Invite News Brony as a guest, or your convention leaders may just find themselves at the bottom of the lake with some cement shoes. Capiche? Well, mares and gentle colts, that's all I have time for you today and... Uh-oh. That sounds like Paul McCartney and the rest of the Wings Band. Uh, I gotta go. Remember, I'm the best journalist Equestria has to offer. Stay classy. Ta-ta.